We've just arrived in Salbach. I've built my bike up. It's ready to go. We're ready to hit the sweet trails. But in this box right here, I've got 10 essential tools that you should be taking on your holiday with you. And I'm going to tell you all about them. Now these are dead easy to use. And if you want to adjust your suspension because you're way riding in the Alps or somewhere a little bit rougher than usual, then this is all you need. You can't actually use an ordinary pump. So this is perfect for it, dead easy to use, and it's super fast and efficient. Number two has got to be this Prep 25. It's got 25 different tools in one. Take a look at that. So I can actually take this bit out, and it's a tire lever, but you can put a whole different range of tools on it, like this five mil. You can put it on to screw stuff in, and then to tighten it up. And it's almost just like using a normal Allen key tool. Alternatively, you could bring a multi-tool with you, but for me, this is an excellent addition to my toolkit. Now you could get away with something smaller, but you're definitely not gonna get away with a set of pliers because they're just not gonna give you a nice neat cut if you do break a cable or perhaps you even need to change a rear derailleur. They're also handy for just cutting cable ties as well. Number four has got to be this handy little multi-tool. Now, I know I've already talked about Allen keys, but if you need to tighten up two bolts and you need one on either side, then this is perfect for it. I've got a whole range of Allen keys as well as torque keys as well. And this tool I actually carry everywhere with me whenever I'm riding. I'll just pop it in my shorts, and if I need to do a little bit of trail maintenance, then this has got everything. A beautiful little torque set from Toolpeak. Now, it's a Nano Torque DX. Super easy to use, you can build it up, and I'm really pernickety about getting stem bolts, also handlebar mounts, exactly to the right torques, and that way it just eases my mind, and this is a dead easy way to do it, especially if you need to fly, and it's so small and so lightweight that if you're going for a big day, you could even just pop it in your rucksack and you've got a range of Allen keys as well. A necessity has got to be a little hand pump. Now, most resorts will actually lend you a big track pump, for example, or there might even be one at the bottom of the lift, at the chair lift, for example. But for me, I always carry this with me. It's dead lightweight, pumps up the tires, and does its job as well. And you can just top up your tires each day as per needed. Now, this is something I'm very sensitive about, and it's tire pressures. I like to check mine before I go for every single ride. And this digital pressure gauge has really been a life changer for me. It's so easy to use, it's fast to use, and it just makes your bike work really well and ensure that your tires are at the right pressure and it could prevent those dreaded punctures. Everybody likes a good hack or a bodge, and if you watch the Dirt Shed show, you'll see that we get them on a weekly basis. So, who could be without taking some tape and also a bunch of cable ties as well. They can fix most solutions, maybe not everything, but they can certainly get you home if you're stuck on a long ride. Let's talk about some spares that you should take with you. For me, I'd always carry a gear cable, even if I'm going out riding in the wilderness, pop one of these in my bag, you just never know what you can get away with. You might break one, or you might damage your rear mech, and these things can just get you home. Plus, I really like crisp, smooth gears. And replacing one of these is dead easy, and it's gonna get a hard time if you're riding in the bike parks. So carry some with you, because it'd be a little bit tricky to get a hold of. Number 10 has got to be an inner tube. If you get a puncture out there, your day is over. Never mind if you're away for just a long weekend, then it could be holiday over and nobody wants that. These things are dead cheap, they're easy to get a hold of, and you've got no excuse not to carry one with you. So, one more for you. This is a bit of a bonus one. It's a rear dropout. Now, I've been away so many times with mates where they go into a bike shop and go, hey, have you got a dropout for my bike? Now, there are thousands of bikes in the market at the moment. You going into the bike shop and the chances of them having a dropout specific to your bike are slim. So I'd recommend carrying one of these. They're cheap, they can be a little bit complicated to get a hold of, but it's definitely worth the effort because breaking a mech and then a rear derailleur hanger, it's a holiday ender. So carry one of these with you, even if you're going riding. That's it, 10 tools to take with you, plus the bonus one. Anyway, if you want to watch some more videos from GMBN, why don't you click just up there for a full maintenance playlist. And if you click down there, you're gonna to get to how to ride without a rucksack. Don't forget to click on that globe somewhere on me.
and you'll get to subscribe and you get a great video every day of the week. If you like going on a holiday and you've got your tools with you, give it a thumb up like.